Hello, dear viewers. We are very excited to share the latest developments in the world of science and space. In today's video, we will discuss a groundbreaking development in the field of quantum computers. A new quantum computer has surpassed the performance of Google's Sycamore machine by 100 times, setting a new world record. What's more, this computer consumes 30,000 times less energy. If you're ready, let's get started. First, let's explain the term quantum supremacy. Quantum supremacy is the point at which quantum computers outperform classical computers in certain tasks. This means that quantum computers can solve complex problems much faster than classical supercomputers. But to realize this feat in practice, a quantum computer with millions of qubits is needed. The largest current machine has about 1,000 qubits. Quantum computers can perform calculations in parallel thanks to the laws of quantum mechanics and entanglement between qubits. This means that the qubits are interconnected and the state of one instantly affects the other. Classical computers can only perform sequential operations. Therefore, quantum computers are theoretically much more powerful. However, since qubits have a high error rate, it is crucial to develop more reliable qubits. Quantinuum, a quantum computing company, has set a world record with its new 56 qubit H21 computer. They achieved a great success by exceeding the performance benchmark set by Google in 2019 with the Sycamore machine by 100 times. Moreover, this new computer consumes 30,000 times less energy. So, what does this mean? Let's dive into the details. Quantinuum scientists conducted various experiments with the H21 computer. In these experiments, they measured the performance of quantum computers and the quality of the qubits. The results were published in the ArcSieve database on June 4th. Although not yet peer-reviewed, the results are very promising. The scientists used a known algorithm to measure how error-prone qubits are. During the experiments, the Quantinuum team used various algorithms to evaluate H21's performance. These algorithms were used to measure how noisy or error-prone the qubits were. The power of quantum computers comes from the fact that the qubits are entangled with each other, and this entanglement allows them to perform calculations in parallel. However, these systems are susceptible to errors, and it is therefore important to develop more robust qubits. The Quantinuum team tested the accuracy of H21's outputs with the Linear Cross Entropy Metric, XEB. When Google tested its Sycamore quantum computer with this benchmark in 2019, it was able to perform a calculation in 200 seconds, a task that would take the most powerful supercomputer 10,000 years. Sycamore scored 0.002 in the XEB test. Quantinuum, however, scored 0.35 with H21, showing that it could produce accurate results with a 35% error rate. This represents a major advance for quantum computers. Quantinuum's success was made possible by collaborations with prestigious institutions such as JP Morgan, Caltech, and Argonne National Laboratory. Furthermore, Quantinuum had previously developed logical qubits in collaboration with Microsoft. These logical qubits had an error rate 800 times lower than physical qubits. In a study published in April, scientists showed that they could perform experiments with logical qubits with an error rate of 1 100,000th. This is a huge improvement compared to the 1 100th error rate of physical qubits. Ilyas Khan, Quantinuum's chief product officer, said that quantum computers are on their way to having universal fault tolerance. According to Khan, while this goal has not changed, the advances made in recent months have been made possible by years of labor and investment. Fault-tolerant quantum computers are thought to be achievable sooner than expected. This could be a revolutionary development in the world of science and technology. Quantum computers will play a major role in the future of science and technology. These machines could revolutionize chemistry, materials science, drug discovery, artificial intelligence, and much more. For example, quantum computers could speed up the discovery of new drugs, develop new supermaterials in materials science, and make artificial intelligence algorithms even more powerful. However, there are still many challenges to overcome before quantum computers can be widely used. One of the biggest challenges is reducing the error rates of qubits 
and developing more stable qubits. Also, increasing the scalability of quantum computers and building larger quantum systems is an important goal. These exciting developments demonstrate the future potential of quantum computers. How do you think quantum computers will change our lives? In which areas will they revolutionize? Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. Also, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with the latest science and space news. See you in the new videos, bye. Now let's dive a little deeper. Because quantum computers are based directly on the principles of quantum mechanics, they can solve problems that classical computers cannot. For example, quantum computers can be much faster and more efficient than classical computers in simulating molecular structures. This could lead to major breakthroughs in chemistry and materials science. Quantum computers could also excel at optimization problems. This could lead to significant improvements in logistics, finance, energy, and many other industries. For example, by studying large data sets, it may be possible to develop more effective investment strategies or optimize energy distribution. The field of quantum computing is growing rapidly and offers many opportunities for those who want to specialize in this field. Universities and research institutions have started to offer programs and courses on quantum computing. For those who want to pursue a career in this field, it is important to have a solid foundation in disciplines such as quantum physics, computer science, and mathematics. In addition, working in quantum computing requires knowledge of programming languages and quantum algorithms. Quantum programming languages such as Chiskit and CERC are widely used for working with quantum computers. The development of quantum computers raises many ethical and technological questions. Quantum computers could revolutionize the fields of cryptography and data security, but they could also threaten existing security systems. Therefore, developing quantum secure cryptography is of paramount importance. Furthermore, the societal impact of quantum computing must also be considered. This technology could lead to the disappearance or transformation of some professions. Therefore, society will need to adapt to these changes and develop new skills. In today's video, we discuss the tremendous success of Quantinuum's new quantum computer H21 and the future of quantum computing. In which areas do you think quantum computing will have the biggest impact? We look forward to your comments. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more videos on the latest developments in science and space. See you in the next video. Bye.